I am bright in, in certain ways for sure, but I was the kid at the back of the class angry at the world. Yeah. Because here I am, I know I'm smart when I work, I get good grades, I excel, all that stuff. And at the same time, no love my parents, not their fault at all, just the way things were, not much support, not much awareness. And certainly I got very angry and resentful and mm -hmm. disconnected from the world. And of course, my journey is around drug addiction, but for other people, without that sense of purpose, maybe, or connection to something they care about and they can direct their attention to. And we see this all the time in the clinic, obviously, mm -hmm. is people who are bright, who are capable, but they're kind of just lost. Um, and I think that's a really important thing for many young people to hear, right? Is, yeah, if I can know. comment on that, I think, you know, one of the biggest gifts from my parents was Kenny, you've got abilities, you need to work toward them, aim to achieve and contribute, right? And right. as much as I got upset with my parents or was angry at them in my adolescence, I, I held on to that. And I believed I could, quote unquote, be successful. I could help people. I could make a difference for people in the way that I could, right? And so mm -hmm. that drove me to work forward uh, and, and move forward with goals that matter to me that I've been very proud of. Um, now, I think what a lot of people experience with ADHD, like our school system is pretty darn good, frankly, and there's a lot of difficulties for people who don't fit the mold, right? And yeah. we won't, probably we won't spend a long time talking about that, but I have my opinions. You have your opinions. I'm sure our <laughs> viewers of this podcast have their opinions um, and everybody has their own experience. But I think part of what happens is when people are growing up with ADHD, we sort of have this experience of... I'm trying, right? I want to do well in my history class, my math class, whatever. Mom or dad teacher say, come on, Kenny, try. And I say, I am trying. Well, doesn't really look like it, right? And what do we want kids to learn as they grow? We want them to learn that I, when I set a goal that's important to me and I take steps toward it, I make progress. I may not achieve perfection. In fact, None of us really do. We can't, but I never achieve perfection, but I'm making progress toward that goal. And then people acknowledge it and I acknowledge it and I feel good because I've made progress, right? And so many of us growing up with ADHD, we set a goal, we start working toward it. Even if we think we're making progress, people say, well, why aren't you trying? I say, well, I really am trying. Well, it doesn't look like you're trying. We don't really make progress. We don't get acknowledgement. And then if we don't try, the same thing happens. Then if we try again, the same thing happens. And we, you know, we start to learn whether I try or I don't try, it's the same outcome. So why bother trying? Why bother setting a goal when nothing's going to work anyway? And I think our school systems are getting better. I think our understanding about mental illness as a whole is getting better. I think parents are becoming more accepting. I think there are more resources, but still so many people struggle with that. And it's a real challenge. So you know, I had the fortunate opportunity to have a goal that was meaningful to me that I could make forward progress on. Mm -hmm. um, and it meant a lot. So, and I did, of course, work my butt off as everybody does who goes through these sorts of programs. Um, but I did have a lot of support and a lot of opportunity, right? Mm 